In this video, I take a program that is tightly coupled, show why that is a problem and fix it with dependency injection. Dependency injection is something that you are going to need when your code is spread over multiple modules or classes. Let me show you a problem that occurs without it. Look at this JSON file. It has three employees with a name and salary. Here is class payroll. It has method create year info that will load the JSON and create a year info report for each employee. I load the JSON and loop through the employees list. A year salary was created and now I save the year info to a file. I save the file and create main.py. I import the payroll class and use it. I execute the code. And look at the sidebar. Three reports have been created. But the code I created has a problem. The class name payroll implies that it contains business logic, but it imports JSON. This class has knowledge of file systems and the JSON data format. You can see JSON format knowledge everywhere in this class. Now why is this a problem? Let me demonstrate the problem by replacing the JSON data with a spreadsheet. Notice each employee makes $1,000 more than in the JSON data, so you can see the difference when I run the program. To import Excel data with Python, I install a library called OpenPy Excel. I replace the import statement. and load the Excel data. Instead of getting data by key, I use tuple unpacking. I access the salary like this. And I do the same for the employee name. Well, let's test that. Each employee should now show more money. So yeah, it worked, but I had to change almost every line in the payroll class. Imagine how dangerous that is if the class would contain complex payroll logic instead of just multiplying each salary by 12. And there is another problem. Business class payroll now suddenly has knowledge of Excel structures. So I have a task here. I will make the payroll class completely unaware of file systems and Excel data structures. I will do this with dependency injection. The first thing to do is to create a new module that will load the data. This module will be responsible for all things that have to do with files and data formats. I start by creating an Excel data loader. The loader will have a single method that returns employees. Notice that the method returns a list of tuples. Any knowledge of Excel cells is hidden in this class. I will now add a class initializer to the payroll class to accept a data loader object. And this is the magic behind dependency injection. The class initializer takes and stores all the dependencies needed for the class to do its job. I replace the Excel code, which allows me to remove all import statements. 
And since the data loader returns strings and integers instead of Excel cells, I can get rid of the value attributes. The payroll class now has no knowledge whatsoever of JSON or Excel. I save and connect things in main. The payroll class will now need an instance of a data loader. I instantiate an Excel data loader and pass it to payroll. Time to test the code. No errors. Of course, this is where my refactoring work is starting to pay off because now I want the JSON loader back. So where does the work take place? Well, if I did my job correctly, the payroll class is locked and does not have to be changed anymore. So I import JSON in the data loader module and add a loader class and also give it a load employees method. Just like the Excel loader, load employees returns a list of tuples. Both loader classes have a method called load employees with the same name and return the same data structure. The methods are polymorphic. That means they have the same signature but different implementations. Now let me show you why that is the coolest thing in software design. I save and open main. I import JSON data loader. Comment out the instantiation of the Excel data loader and create an instance of JSON data loader. And without any other changes to the code, I execute the program again. The year reports should now be generated from the JSON data again. Switching between data loaders is now as easy as passing one or the other to payroll. The payroll class is completely unaware of JSON and Excel. But I'm not done yet. If you look at the code, you see more dependencies on the file system. So how about writing another class to create the reports and also inject it in payroll? I create a reporting module and a class to create a report. That isolates all file system knowledge to the reporting class. Now I hook things up. The payroll class takes a second dependency and stores it. And I use it in the createYearInfo method. I create an instance of the reporting class in main. and pass it to payroll. I remove the reports and test the code again. And look at the sidebar. The three reports are created. By using dependency injection, the payroll class is fully decoupled of any dependencies on the file system, JSON and Excel libraries. I achieved dependency injection through the class initializer. And if you want to learn more about this magic method, click on the screen right now and we'll see each other in the next video.